There is nothing worse than having a compressor burnout and having to deal with this kind of oil inside of your refrigerant circuit. In fact, this oil right here came out of this compressor. Now getting this type of oil out of your refrigerant circuit is not as easy as everyone believes. You can't just use nitrogen. Yeah, nitrogen will dry out moisture, but it doesn't work on oil. In fact, I created an extremely unrealistic line set full of oil traps in order to test this oil. So this is our line set. It is awful for running refrigerant lines, but it is great to test out oil traps because we have one, two, three, four oil traps in this entire line. We're gonna introduce this oil into that tubing and then flow nitrogen behind it to try and flush it out. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna use the actual flush kit made by HVAC guys. All this stinks. We're gonna go ahead and add this into our tubing. Like so, we're gonna really fill this sucker up. Now that is a lot of nasty oil. Time to run some nitrogen through it. All right, flushing with nitrogen in three, two, one. As you can tell, we still have a ton of oil all over the system. Not only do we still have oil in all of our little traps, but you can see all through the tubing, it is coating all of the walls, even upside down, where you have gravity that will eventually help it migrate down. We still have oil all over this thing. With oil all over the walls where it should be just draining straight down, at least from gravity, it tells us that the nitrogen, one, didn't break it up. It's still all the way throughout the lines. And two, it didn't flush it out like it was originally supposed to. So now we're going to introduce the HVAC Guys flush kit into the system and see if we can break up that oil and then follow it with nitrogen to really flush all that stuff out. All right, HVAC Guys flush kit in three, two, one. You can see from the flush that it immediately cleared up all of these walls, whether it is high, low, in between, everything is now cleared off of the walls, but we still have the flush in the oil traps themselves all the way around, which means we need one last blast of nitrogen in order to really clear out these lines entirely. Final blast of nitrogen in three, two, one. Now that we've completed the final purge after the flush kit, you can tell that everything has been removed from the line set itself, meaning all of the dark oil, all the stuff that was built up in there and wouldn't get out of these oil traps is 100% gone. You can see that there's just a little bit of the flush, the chemical itself, still in the oil traps. We're right here, and I can't see right there, but you can see just a little bit shaking around right here. Don't worry, that can stay in there a little bit because it will boil off in the vacuum and flush 100% out of the system. Let's change it up and really go for broke. This is used engine oil, 10W30, out of my F250. I'm gonna pour all of it inside of the tubing and hit it with the flush kit. Let's see if it cleans it out. All right, used diesel engine oil. Here we go. Oh, this is not good. You can already see it sitting on the walls. You can see it just sitting on the walls, just, oh, this is not gonna be good. This is gonna be a test. Okay, first pass with the nitrogen in three, two, one. Oh, that is not good. Oh, man, <laughs> look at this. Now this really shows what oil does to the inside of tubing. Look at it just on all of the walls. Of course, this stuff is pretty thick didn't move out of the oil traps. In fact, none of it even made it to the end. But you can see just on all the walls, top, sides, everywhere, it is just coated in oil. All right, Flush Kid, time for you to shine. I want my tubing back. All right, three, two, one. I honestly had a problem. I did not have a good seal up here, so let's put a little bit more in. There we go. That's a good seal. I didn't have the cone on the first time. There we go. Dude, I don't even have to hit it with nitrogen again. Look at this. That's just straight up clean. Now we just got the rest of the residue in here. We've got the rest of the flush in here. That's clean. Look at this. All the walls are clean. Everything is clean. I mean, seriously, if they can push out used diesel oil, I mean, look, it's all gone. It's all into this rag. That now needs to be thrown away. It's all up. 
Just one shot. I don't even have to follow it with nitrogen. I probably have to follow it to get the flush out, but I don't have to follow it to get any of the, get any of the oil out. I mean, if it pushes this kind of oil out of tubing, imagine what it can do to refrigerant oil. As far as the unrealistic line set test, the nitrogen failed miserably. It actually did take a blast of the HVAC guy's flush kit in order to allow a second purge of nitrogen to flush the old oil out. Why? Because this will actually break down that old oil, turn it into enough of a liquid to where the nitrogen will flush it out. Anything that's left over can get vacuumed out. Now why would you want this? A burnout compressor? Yeah, that's number one. I just showed you why. It gets all that old oil out. Number two, if you're switching between refrigerants, say R22 to 410A or anything A2L coming out in the future, you need to make sure that that oil that could be possibly somewhere in a wall, somewhere in the line set where you have a little bit of a dip and oil trap, something happens, you need to be able to get that oil out between before you switch refrigerants. And nitrogen just doesn't cut it. So this is a can that I'm going to be ordering in the future. I'm gonna keep it on my truck to make sure that I don't have any issues in the future, especially going into the new A2L or when I'm swapping out an old compressor, it doesn't matter what refrigerant, I'm gonna be using this. And if you wanna check it out, link in the description down below. And thank you HVAC guys for sending me this product to test here on the channel. I hope you all have a great day. See you on the next one.